Good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff here at SDRplay.com. Last video, we did a tethering of SDR Uno with WSJTX. This video, we're going to use FL Digi. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to FL Digi's website and download the latest version of FL Digi. So I'll do that now. It's www.w1hkj.com. So let's go straight there. Let's go to FL Digi, which is the first option on the software. And let's go to download. And we're going to look for the exe file. So we have the choice, uh, let's see, we got x86 underscore 64 DMG, that's Mac. Let's go to .exe right here. It's going to download. Let's launch SDR Uno and reset it. So let's remove the INI and, I and we'll start from a fresh slate. Now you're going to need a virtual COM port emulator to create a COM port pair. You're going to need a virtual audio cable in order to pipe the audio from SDR Uno into FL Digi for processing. So let's uh, let's install it. Okay, we don't use Flark, and that looks right. That looks good. Let's click close and let's find the shortcut. So let's close that out. There's FL Digi. Here's my virtual COM port pair, one and two. As always, I set SDR Uno for use in COM port one and the external app for use in COM port two. So let's launch FL Digi. All right, click next, click next. Let's go to, all right, this is the audio settings. So let's go to port audio. Let's go to capture. Let's go to VB cable. Click next. Let's go to rake. Uh, we want Hamlib. Use Hamlib. Now, SDR Uno responds to Kenwood TS480 commands internally. So let's go to Kenwood TS480. All right, let's go to COM2. Let's set the baud rate to 57600 because that's going to be the default. And let's click Initialize. Make sure we got everything right. Click Next. Estiorno might need to be launched. So let's just double check. Let's just launch it and see what happens. Okay. It kicked back in. So in SDR Uno, we're going to go to settings, out, VP cable, cat, com1, enable and connect. So the VFO frequency is 3.50. We're in zero IF mode, so we don't have separation between the tune and the LO, which we have to do if we're in zero IF mode. And let's see if the frequency takes. All right, click finish. We'll allow access. Okay, let's close FL Digi and relaunch it. And we'll do the same with SDR Uno. We'll verify our settings. BB cable, COM1, connected. We'll put it in zero IF mode. And let's see what happens. And it looks like everything is working. FL Digi controls SDR Uno. SDR Uno controls FL Digi. Now let's see the mode. The mode is AM. It's showing the mode here. I'm not an FL Digi user. Okay, let's switch it over to upper sideband. Let's check uh, lower sideband. That worked. Let's see CW. CW worked. And AM. So there you have it. There's a quick video to setting up FL Digi to communicate with SDR Uno and for SDR Uno to communicate with FL Digi. Now, you might have a rig. Now, let's say if you have a rig and you're going to say, well, how do I get all this to work? I'm using uh, OmniRig, which FL Digi is not OmniRig compliant. What you would do is you would have to use VSPE. So let's close this down and I'll explain this to you real quick before I sign off with this video. And let's close this. In VSPE, 
let's stop the COM port pair and we'll create a new thing. It's called a splitter. And what a splitter will do is it allow you to take one port and convert it into a bunch of virtual ports. So if your if your rig, let's say we have an FTDX 3000, that creates two COM ports, a standard port and an enhanced port. And I believe rig control is processed off the enhanced COM port. So let's just say COM 7, just for the purpose of this video. What I would do is I would take that physical COM port, which would be 7, and make a bunch of virtual COM ports off of that, still feed it into OmniRig, but then feed it into FL Digi. And that's how you can have that COM port go out to multiple applications. That's the way I used to use it when I was using Amateur Contact Log. Amateur Contact Log directly controlled my rig, but I wanted to use OmniRig uh, because that's what SDR Uno allows. So I used a splitter. So that's how you would do it. All right, guys, 73. I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for sticking with me.